but I, uh, I have to make this dis distance of uh, making the protagonist a woman just to get this uh, distance from myself. So that's what was, uh, I prob you probably discussed that a lot, that can a man write about a woman? And on the other way around, okay, can a woman write about a man? Did you find it difficult? I think it's more difficult, I've done it twice, and uh, uh, you always have a reason for it. Uh, the, the other time was that uh, the protagonist was, uh, uh, she was very sensitive about uh, everything with science. Uh, in a way, she's a graphic designer. And for me, it was more natural that I think that, in a way, we are not more wise than that. Uh, they have some dimension when it comes to recognizing patterns and um, design things. Uh, this is just uh, what I'm saying. So, so for me, it was then uh, uh, natural to, to, to choose a woman to be this. She's inventing a new font, a new, a new right, which is, which is rather magical. And you did in typographical file? Yeah. File? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's uh, inventing 265 of me uh, signs, which is what you have to have when you have it in Did you do a lot of research for that? That's right. Yeah, that, I, I don't like doing research, but uh, when I did that, I had to do a lot of research. So you didn't do much research for the conquer? Did you have a lot of these? No, yeah, you almost have to do some Work. You have to check, for example, the organ thing. You always write the chapters of the stories and you write them maybe twice or five times and then you see, okay, I'm going to use it. Then you have to check some technical things. You have to go into the church and, and what is actually written on these small things you draw. Uh, you use when you change the voices. Um, so you've got to have these names correct. But then you can just continue. Uh, it is, but um, it's very seldom change the story. It's, it's just that you you make the colors uh, correct, or maybe you use it a little more interesting. And, and the readers, you you must remember the readers. They are always very very generous. So it, uh, I think the trick is to not use too many technical things. But if you have the three or four technical things or names uh, correct. They suspect that you know everything <laughs> about that period. You know, just a for example, if you write about Timbuktu uh, in Malin, and you just, you, you can say maybe the name of the hotel on the main street and one of the, uh, the mosques. And if one of your friends has been to Timbuktu, he will ask you, oh, that's the for you have visited also Timbuktu. Ah, yeah, I recognize that. So good. This person. Feeling the secret. One small detail, and it was just mentioned very, very, very briefly in passing in the book, um, and I wasn't sure if this was, was made up or not. Um, you talk you talk about um, uh, India, the Norwegians, all of them have some sort of faith, even um, non believers have a, have a heathen church. I don't know if you remember this part of the book. Yeah, they have, yeah. That's it's right. true, there is a. It, it's not a church, they don't have a church like that. But it's called the Hindu Society. So I think it's an actual church. So, um, so they don't they, they, they don't come together and uh, have a service or something. But uh, it's typical that uh, they also have a pain in not having pain. But I think a lot of also other countries have uh, some kind of the Hindu Society. There's another quote in the book where you, where you talk about how the youngest is back, is, is the bag, and someone is the bag, we have every more region. Did you, did you think of the book in a way as this sort of a biography of your country? Yes, I did, actually. Uh, it's also one of the things um, I uh, took with me from my studies. Uh, it is from the Old Testament. Uh, we learned very good that uh, the patriarchs, uh, Abraham, Jacob, Isa, Joseph, this from uh, the first book. 
the, the Genesis. Uh, they probably are not historical persons, but uh, when they sat around the campfires, the Nomads, they were Nomads, and are told the history of the tribe, they made up uh, in the videos because uh, it's much more easy to, to tell a story around uh, a, a complete person than to, to tell an abstract of how a nation or our tribe did such and such. But if it does, uh, one day Abraham said to God, take your sheep and go to the country I want to show you. Then all, all children, they, they remember it. So, uh, I, I was thinking uh, when I wrote about Jonas, he, he was going to be the, some sort of bearer of uh, the, the, the stories of the modern Norwegian tribe. So then I also let him pass through some of the important moments of modern Norway. For example, when we voted no to be a member of the European Union, which is twice we have done. Maybe because we are so rich, we don't want to share uh, our richness <laughs> with other people. But uh, it was for, for one or two years, twice, it was discussions all day long about being a member of one. So that was very important. And also, of course, finding a way. But also small things which are important, for example, athletics moments, uh, important football matches, uh, things like that. So, for example, I, I very much admired on the video, and uh, if you are in the, the opening of Underworld, they were very happy to play this baseball match. I think that was a great way to do things because so many people tell about this all the time. And they also tell about it to the children. So uh, it's, uh, it's very tempting also to try to use this uh, very pregnant moments uh, as fiction. But again, the you must try to make it strange. You must not do it as a newspaper writer, but you must find a new angle so you can make it strange and something they can see. Uh, yeah, the habit things, but just with new eyes. Terrific. Well, I think, um, should we open it up to questions from the audience? Does anybody have any questions?